Okay, well now we're going to be moving on to the Diablo Ultimates League. We've got our Diablo here, the best of the Diablos available in-game. And we've got our series info, we've got nine rounds, the first of which is going to be taking place at Paris. Route 3, four laps in the heat, eight in the final, third. And this po at this point, winning winning gets you a pretty, a pretty cool $36,000. And I've already got like over 700000 so... So the reason I'm just jumping right into this like, like immediately right away rather than um, doing the uh, doing the uh, the special of the challenges I, I might still I'll probably do that after I've done the series I thought I'd, I thought by this point I'd switch it up just kind of switch the ordering up just for my own just for my own sake Am I the only one in this this thing with this sort of Diablo Like the uh, the top Diablo GTR, because the other ones looked like it's the uh, second one. I don't know, it might be. I have to get I have to get a closer look. It's it's still really weird to me that of all like the Diablos and oh my, I just realized. Hang on, something. Uh, you can you hear double? By the way. Because if you're hearing double, I gotta fix that real quick. No, you can't hear double. Okay, good. I was just looking at the uh, the, the audio the audio waves, so. But it, that it, it, it seems to be okay, so that's fine. No, I won't worry about it. It was just OBS kind of giving me a, a little worry, but if so long as it's fine, then that's all that matters. Because I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about the game be, being double audio. Oh my god. They've. Can I admit that's one thing I actually do kind of like about this game is that the AI actually is like an AI. Like they like they are they are capable of making mistakes. They look just like that. Oh god, I, I went in there way too aggressive. Having looked into this game via videos and stuff, I think the main draw to me is the obscure forgotten Lambos on the card list. Yeah, that's pretty... I, it's one of the things that kind of really uh, disappoints me, that we never have got another attempt at a, at a proper Lamborghini game. I thought this was the last attempt at it, but I was wrong. There was, there was going to be a Lamborghini game by Atlas, that was supposed to come out, I think, sometime in 2004. It was going to be a much more arcadey like game, and the reason I know that was later is because of, of the screenshots that have surfaced of that game, the Gallardo is in that... The, there was the Gallardo in that uh, list, and the Gallardo's not in this game because the Gallardo was not official yet. Oh my god. I don't know if it's scripted for them to make mistakes like that, but... I'm not complaining that they are, obviously. Anything to help me uh, get in front. And also, one thing I gotta be honest too, this, I, this car drives really, really nicely. Really planted. I'm braking a little bit too early. Gotta use those, gotta use those white flares for the... Uh, Breaking breaking points. Wait, sorry. Did I say Atlas was for that last? I think it was Titus. Sorry, not Atlas. At least I think. Our only hope is praying some of these. For yeah, it'd be. I really just want a more and more games to kind of just acknowledge the history of some of these, like, some of these, like, really premium brands, because everyone, it's like, they always obsess about the latest, greatest thing from these companies, but I, I'm more interested in, like, the full, like, the full archive when it comes to the brand, so, like, as the SE30 appeared in this incarnation. What the, the SC30 Diablo? No, the 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 
in fact, there are, there are four Diablos in this game. The lowest, the lowest tier Diablo, and I'm not kidding, is the SV. It goes the SV, then the VT, the VT 6.0. Then there's two racing versions, and this is the, uh, the this is the higher end of the two. Uh, now we're going to find out where I start on the final thing. Oh, wow. I'm going to be... I was... I was just... I was... I was the fastest in my heat, but the slowest out of both. But the... But slower than all the... The, uh, the other heat. Oh, well. I'm just gonna go move over to the right, try to just get keep myself out of the pile. Yeah, like the 350 GT or whatnot. That, like that's like one of the first. That's like the first Lamborghini or one of the first Lamborghinis, and it's in like almost no games. But this game has it. They were gonna put it in. They were gonna put like that. The like the the first ever Lamborghini was gonna be in this game. It's amazing how. It's just forgotten completely otherwise. Or why I seen the game that Titus was Titus was in her Oh, are you talking about the uh, the N64 version of Superman? Yeah, cuz that that was uh, a because that one was a bit of a nightmare. It was the reason the game is so bad is just because of a, a, a lot of Warner's Brothers meddling and also they uh, just Warner Brothers meddling and just conflicts and, and just like they just weren't able to like properly put any time down into like developing the game as they had hoped. What's what really pains what really sucks about that is there was going to be a PlayStation version of that game and of the builds that have surfaced of the PlayStation version it was it would it was going to be a, a huge improvement like it was going to be a way better game but uh, they couldn't release it cuz they lost the license before they could so the, that's why the PlayStation version got canceled they didn't have the license for it anymore so and if they don't have the license then they can't legally release it The front of my car just completely flapping away there now. I think I'm break, still braking a little bit earlier than I really need to, but I, to be fair, a little bit of early braking in this game does not hurt. Better to be safe than sorry, so. But this car, honest, again, like, this is without question the best car i've driven in this game so far not just because of how fast it is but just it is so planted it it genuinely f feels like a race car in terms of how it's driving like i'm really impressed I'll probably, I'll probably do a betting. I'll probably bet against another driver after this. I feel confident enough in the way this car drives to do so. Just take these from the from from, the, from the, the far end and just throw it into the corners, and it's really well. My goal at this point is to see if I can uh, do a sub one minute lap time. Probably not if I do that. By the way, uh. I couldn't really add it to Throne because uh, it's not like a verified site, which means if someone were to gift it, it would just be the money and not them uh, sh shipping the actual gift. But uh, so I think some of you might know the uh, HDMI adapter I have here for the Xbox currently, the Nimbus, which picture wise is pretty decent, but 
it's an adapter I ultimately had to request my money back for because uh, they were being dishonest about uh, what these what the actual guts of the adapter were from it was because it's basically a large for the most part largely a reshell of stuff you find on like websites like AliExpress and whatnot like maybe there are some improvements they've made to these like to the boards but it's not what they originally said it was and at the price they were asking for it was like a ripoff originally but um one of the adapters I was looking at originally or wanted to, to, to get the Electron Sheffer. Uh, it's by a company called Electron Shefford. They finally, after months, like actual months of not having it in stock, they finally got new stock of it in. And I'm very tempted to just bite the bullet and, uh, and buy it. Because the Electron Shepherd is like a, it's like finally like, it's a sort of adapter I've been kind of looking for where you could just plug it into the back of the console and it just sits flush. Like it's not like on a wire, it's not like on a wire or anything. Like you could just sit it flush with the, with the unit. And that's, which I, I like, because I like the idea of just being able to put it in and then it's just there. You don't have to worry about it kind of just dangling or anything. And for people, from what I've heard, the Electron Shepherd adapter is really good. It doesn't it doesn't use the, the same components that this Nimbus does. Like it uses it, it uses its own custom board and stuff. So it's like like there is no other there is no like Electron Shepherd clones or anything. But it was just for months they didn't have any stock of it, and they finally do again. So I'm thinking like. I'll probably j I might just jump the gun I'll I might just bite the bullet and do it because it was either that or the Exodusa by the Bahar brothers but the Exodusa is going to be like a really expensive adapter like it's going to cost me like well over a hundred dollars whereas the where as at least in terms of US currency comparing the two the uh the uh Electron Shepherd, including shipping, the Electron Shepherd would be like half of that, half of that. So, and at this point, I'm I'm very much a function over form person. Yeah, because the Exodusa has all these like over like all these like extra things, whereas the Electron Shepherd is much more just straightforward. But if it works well, then I don't I I don't really care. But everything costs so much money, and, every, and money is, is hard because mon because every, the state of living these days, everything everything sucks. There we go. By the way, there's our sub one minute time. gosh it's really this 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 race has pretty much been a fucking cakewalk I, I I'm definitely glad I've kind of took the incentive to kind of focus on getting the best of each for like each league because yeah this Diablo is like this Diablo GTR is just this thing is so good. It's such a nice car to drive in this game. Okay. I'm just curious how, how I was curious by how far ahead I was. A lot. Ted said, oh, too lazy to sit through the whole thing. It'll, it'll tell me after this. So yeah, that was, <laughs> was so, I, I, that was, I won by over 26 seconds. It was just absolute domination. And yeah, we'll just go with the second one here, Abby Martina Raven. Hi there. That sounds like a challenge. I'm scared, not. This isn't too hot for you. Are you sure you're ready for this? See you on the track. Did you literally just watch me do that last race where I basically obliterated the field? I don't think she did. 
But she has the uh, the SVR, the uh, the the lower end of the racing ones, and but in a nice blue color. I went with black for this GTR because I thought it just worked really well for this. Like this is like just the the uh, the the you know the Nero Diablo, the Black Devil. To gives it like a kind of like an aura around it, so. Yep, uh, there we go. I have already left her behind. I can genuinely not think of another game that has the SVR. This is the only game that comes to mind. I mean... Thought I'd do a quick 5 to 10 minute flyby on here since I gotta get to sleep, but I figure I brought my Twitch eyes a bit. Yeah, no worries. I, appreci I appreciate it. I appreciate you at least having a quick stop by. Yeah, so this is literally the only game the SVR has ever been a a put in. Well, to be fair, like, no one rem even, rem very few even know that the SVR exists. That's the thing. So it's not surprised. I'm not completely surprised to say the least, so. Whoops. Okay. There was nothing in that. That just. Just thrashed the feet. Just thrashed her. And so I've doubled. And so I've doubled my winnings. This is so not happening. Okay. It's a good thing I did that because I imagine repairing this thing is going to be a little bit pricey. Let's let's see. I want to see before we finish off. Oh yes, yeah, sixty thousand dollars almost. It was I. That's almost all my winnings gone because I, I made 36 in the race and then 36 in the bet. So I made 72,000. So I only have like 12,000 of that left. Still, doesn't matter. We, we, we accomplished that. And in the next in the next part, we're going to be going to Sydney or what appears to basically just be the big freeway track. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to check out my links down below. And I hope to see you all on the next video.